already set and the stream is here there we go all right we need to set up the title and whatnot select title or game pikmin enable monetization change thumbnail hopefully this is hopefully this thumbnail doesn't get cut off yeah that looks okay guess it's made for kids now let's do it all again because YouTube doesn't save it for some reason. Alright, here we go. There we go. That looks good. Alright, let's make this public and let's do this. Alright, with that, let's get started with the challenge. The rules are simple. Um, no f calling Pikmin with the whistle. Um, let's delete this one. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so the basics... Actually, let me get it sorted. So the basics of this challenge are pretty simple. I'm not allowed to use B in order to call Pikmin. I'm not allowed to use C in order to disband Pikmin. And I'm not allowed to use D on the D or down on the D-pad in order to actually um, sort of march to Pikmin in a line. Which is going to be annoying. But yeah, let's do this. There we go. I do have this at the public, right? Yep. Okay, there's a viewer. Alright, impact site time. Let's do this. Now, I still am allowed to throw Pikmin and, and whatnot like that. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Here we go. Get the onion. Let's go ahead and destroy this flower. We're most likely not going to be doing any speedrun strats because a lot of them require a whistle. Like actually doing a, um, what's it called? It's the sun's gift that's on the other side of a bunch of places where you have to make bridges. There is a skip to do that without blue Pikmin. Yeah, we're not doing that because it requires us to drown our own red... Pikmin. Yeah, so no, that isn't happening. Alright, there we go. There we go. So, since we are doing this challenge, we can't call our Pikmin back. Now, thankfully, the Pikmin, if we're close enough to the Onion, automatically gets back in our in or not inventory, but our squad. There we go. And I just broke the entire challenge rules. Great. So yeah, if I break the rules, I accidentally whistle, accidentally disband. 
or accidentally use the D-pad, um, we're resetting, which means I get to watch that wonderful whole cutscene again. Wonderful. All right, there we go. Oh, uh, boy. Let's go ahead and try this again. We're going to get hit by an asteroid. And down to Earth we go. Alright, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Alright, there we go. Get the Pikmin. Alright, there we go. Uh, it's gonna be weird not playing with the whistle. Alright, there we go. Hey, shoot old Mick. Welcome to the stream. Alright, we can get a few more Pikmin. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this over here. Alright, there we go. Alright, got that. Okay, there's no pellet up there. I have been deceived. Alright, there's a pellet up here. Man, it's been a long time since I've played the original Pikmin. So this is the only way we're going to be able to get our Pikmin back, by actually running into them. And this is going to make bosses a real pain. Because we can't whistle. And Pikmin are naturally attracted to bosses. There we go. Oh, and that's another thing. So if a Pikmin's doing a task, we can't stop them from doing that task. 
And normally you'd do this with the whistle and call them off that task, like fighting an enemy, pushing a box, any of that stuff. We can't do that. If a Pikmin is doing a task, they are going to do that task. Hey, Derpy Sheep, welcome to the stream. Alright. So, yeah, this is going to be a pretty hard challenge, probably. I honestly don't know. I hope you guys enjoy, because Pikmin's sort of an underrated game. Alright, let's see what the Pikmin do. Do they stay on the box? I doubt it. They're probably just going to... Yep, they turn... So, here's how we know if a Pikmin's doing something. Right now, they all their color is gone. Unlike the ones in our squad, which have color. Now, Pikmin doing a task, like carrying something, will keep color. So, we'll be able to tell. But, yeah. Um, are we getting any cheese? I'm not sure. This is going to mostly come down to strategy. Just because it's a pretty tough challenge. Wait, Pikmin automatically latch on to stuff, apparently. Oh, this is going to be great. Please tell me just this doesn't happen with, like, walls. It happens with walls. Oh, great. This is weird. So... I don't think it's going to rely on cheese, now that I see this. I think it's mostly just going to rely on... Are the Pikmin to AI going to work, or are they going to just... Ha! No. That is the question. But yeah, this is most likely going to come down to a lot of skill and strategy. Alright, there we go. Here we go. Go ahead and grab these. Let these guys sprout. Alright, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. almost got in our first ship part. This is a long trek back to the onion. Or to the ship. Did not mean that. Just missed the speed run strat. That's sad. Well, that's our first ship part of Furby. Let's do this. And that day one is done.
And we have liftoff. I always loved Pikmin. Honestly, one of my favorite, if not my favorite game. All right, Force Naval time, or Force of Hope. Force Naval is next. Now, the main thing I'm worried about in this run is going to be the bosses. Just because the bosses... Now, the thing about not having to whistle is, if a Pikmin is dedicated to a task, it could be attacking a boss. That Pikmin is probably going to die. All right, let's do this. So get these guys out. There we go. Um, am I hoping for Pikmin 4? You know it. I feel like it's just been delayed just because... This is my current theory. Probably completely incorrect, but... It is... Pikmin 4 was originally going to be single player, like the... Did I really do that? Okay, then. That's going to be the main problem. Just remembering, don't use the whistle. <laughs> But yeah, my current theory on Pikmin 4 is it was originally going to be single player like the first three games. Then the Switch came out and they said, well, everything on the Switch is multiplayer. You have Mario Odyssey with co-op. You have Mario Party, obviously. Mario Smash Bros. Ultimate. Obviously, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But even more obscure things like, um, what is it called? It's like Overcooked or something. But it seems like everything has... Well, here's a good example. Luigi's Mansion 3. Nothing in the Luigi's Mansion series has been multiplayer. Yet here you go with a game that is completely multiplayer based. With Gooigi. So I feel like the entire story for Pikmin 4 had to be restructured in order to make it make sense. Puzzles probably had to be redone, just so that way multiplayer could work. But that's just a theory on that. Pikmin 4, the second player is a, is a Pikmin. Um, weirdly enough, they actually did that in Nintendo Land, where we had a Pikmin minigame, where the gamepad was Olimar, while um, all the Wii remotes were Pikmin. So you could have one person play as Olimar and the rest play as Pikmin, up to five people. Alright, activate all the Pikmin again. This is going to be fun every time we want to get Pikmin back. Alright, 
So yeah, we can't stop those Pikmin from grabbing on to the Bulborbs. We kill the Bill the Bulborb. The Pikmin will grab onto it. Whether we like it or not. That's what's gonna make this hard. And with the Pikmin AI, this is gonna be great. Oh wow, we actually were able to stop some of them though. I'm actually gonna collect the, these though. Like I know it's not speedrun strats, but we're gonna need a lot of Pikmin for bosses. Let's go ahead and start getting some nectar. Oh no. If a Pikmin starts plucking grass, we can physically not stop them. There's going to be a lot of Pikmin death in this, and that's sad. We got some of them to get flowers. Is that all of them? Nope, nowhere's close. There we go. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and attack the big bull borb. We actually have to fight them correctly this time. Because we can't just like, um... No! Stop! Okay, we got him. Alright, let's get these Pikmin on the wall. Yeah, that's going to be the problem. Because things like Bulborps, we can't just swarm them with the down on the D-pad. Because that's the whistle. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be a difficult challenge. Exactly 10 Pikmin died? Well, that's not that bad. Alright, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we'll leave them there.
There we go. Let's go back and grab those left Pikmin. Alright, the wall is done. Alright, we're halfway through the day. Oh, we're definitely not going to 6 Davis. Definitely not. I'm just hoping to get all 30 ship parts. What's the best way to do this? Get the pick one on there. Go, 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 and we did it. Oh gosh. We can't even stop them. Alright, let's go ahead and put our red Pikmin over here. There's literally nothing else to do with them. Alright, cool. At least we'll get one ship part today. There we go. Only one Pikmin died there? That's actually pretty good. Alright, let's get ourselves a yellow Pikmin. There we go. Oh, great. Well, we can only have a few more Pikmin out because the red Pikmin took back so many bulb orbs and stuff. That's great. Let's go ahead and start destroying some walls. Oh no. This is going to be annoying. Because I don't think we can actually call the, the yellow Pikmin back. Like after we get a yellow Pikmin. Oh gosh. Let's test this theory. Okay, now they run back. That's good. I was worried there for a second that they would just stay near the wall and just blow up. I don't want to throw more than one at a time, though. Alright, let's go. I believe I need six bomb rocks in order to take on the other wall over there. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Alright, let's go over here. Let's get some red Pikmin really quickly. We're not going to blow up that wall yet. 
We're going after a different ship part right this second. And that should be fine in terms of power. Let's get the second ship part right now. Goodbye. All right, let's go. The fight that I'm most worried about is the beady long legs. Just because the beady long legs Oh gosh, I was worried there for a second that the bomb rock would go off immediately. Alright, that should be good. No yellow Pikmin, I'll throw you up there. Alright, it's almost sundown, let's go. Thankfully, I think we're going to get two ship parts today, and that's good enough for me. Here, let's just go ahead and start plucking some Pikmin. Alright, there we go. No! I threw that Pikmin up there. Alright, we physically can't do anything to save him. Pikmin that are in the base automatically survive, but that's sad. Yeah, you see the Pikmin in the base automatically go into the onion, but the other Pikmin, I'm not sure if he was in range. He might have been. I guess we're about to find out. But two ships part two ship parts that's pretty good all right there we go hey none left behind there we go All right, now we don't have to worry about growing our Pikmin population, so that's good. Well, not our red Pikmin population anyway. We have just a little bit lacking amount of yellow Pikmin. Thankfully, we don't need a lot of yellow Pikmin. I would like more than how the amount that we have now, though. We could do that, though. 
we'll just go ahead and produce some more yellow Pikmin. We just won't have to pluck them if we go ahead and get red Pikmin out. All right, there we go. I wasn't holding a Pikmin. Great. We are allowed to use B when we're holding a Pikmin to switch to Pikmin we're holding. But that was a whistle. So that's wonderful. Alright. Let's do this again. Alright, enter the Forest of Hope. Let's go ahead and produce some more yellow Pikmin. We also need to get some bomb rocks. I feel like bomb rocks are going to be the best way to take down a bull orb. Going to be honest. Actually, one thing that we can do... We could probably go ahead and take on the snag rate right now. There we go. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and take on the Snagrit, because I feel like it. It's a fight that I'm somewhat worried about, but not really. I'm most worried about the Beady Long Legs fight. Alright, let's be sneaky. Avoid the Bull Borbs. Here we go. I should not have brought this many Pikmin. Alright, there we go. Get all the Pikmin that are in here, please. Hopefully we got them all. If not, oh well. Now for the tricky part. Getting him across the river. Remember, if they go in water, they're dead. Get all the Pikmin. There we go. There we go. Don't care about you. All I care about is you. the good part about this challenge or about this boss oh wow those pikmin went on 
That staggered. That actually worked really well. Sweet. Only problem is now we actually have to get the Geiger counter back. Fun fact about the Geiger counter. The Geiger counter is a real life thing that detects radiation. And it says that it goes wild every once in a while. Um, yeah, he's going through a lot of radiation. Fun fact. Let's get this Geiger counter. Alright, we can put 25 Pikmin on it. That should be good. Hey, chat, remind me if that doesn't make it back by the end of a day, because that's bad. Actually, let's just look at the... Alright, it's looking pretty good right now. I'm looking down to see our Pikmin count, and we're still at 98 Pikmin out on the field. So that's good. Alright, that's actually really good. Nice. And we have one yellow Pikmin, where we can get a Bomb Rock. Nice. Alright, get ourselves a Bomb Rock. Go over here, let's blow up this wall. Nice. Oh gosh, that does not look good. That does not look good. Oh gosh. Um, guys, I hear dead Pikmin. That's why I hear dead Pikmin. Rest in peace. Oh, gosh. All right, we should still be okay. I need some more yellow Pikmin, though. Um, I think more than 22 Pikmin died. Because I put 25 on that Geiger counter. Alright guys, I'm about to do what's called a pro gamer move. Really? It doesn't trigger a chain reaction? That's sad. So, what's going to happen now that... Oh no, we still have that Bulborb over here. That isn't looking very good for them. Oh gosh. Thank you. 
So yeah, we can't do anything to save these Pikmin. Get wrecked. Alright, let's pluck some Pikmin. Oh my gosh, so many red Pikmin. Alright, let's at least get two more ship parts to make up for this. Hopefully we can. First thing I'm going to do, though, is take on that red bull board. Because he murdered some Pikmin, and he made me sad. Also, where in the world are those last five Pikmin? I'm missing five, and I have no idea where they are. Alright, there we go. This isn't going to be a game that we can cheese. It's just going to be a lot of strategy and a lot of Pikmin death. All right. Oh, those Pikmin are dead. We physically can't do anything to save them. Alright, let's go ahead and get some yellow Pikmin on this. Alright, there we go. Actually, we need to get more yellow Pikmin. We need nine bombs. We have four right now. Right, that looks good. Hey, there we go. We got our radar. Let's do this. that, our ship is getting repaired. Alright, there we go. And there we go. The Extraordinary Bolt. Let's go over here.
Got these. We might as well start... Um, actually, no, we should not work on that wall. Alright, there we go. Six out of 30 parts. Where are my other Pikmin that I lost? There's those over there. There's some over there. Uh, well, that's sad. Rip those Pikmin. All right, pretty successful day, though. All right, we have 18 yellow Pikmin, wonderful. Yeah, those eight, those eight Pikmin are dead. Let's go ahead and get those blue Pikmin, though. Bye, red Pikmin. Naval time. Let's do this. Let's see. We need blue Pikmin. Um, I have a standard strat that I normally use in order to actually... I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it this time, but it, it's just in order to kill the um, red bug. I think we should pull out about... Let's pull out 60 reds. And then the rest of our yellows. Alright, that leaves us at 78. That leaves us with 22 spots open. That's pretty good. We're gonna throw them all on this wall. These 18 yellows are coming with me. This isn't a part of my strat, but I feel like it should work because... Why wouldn't it? Oh yeah, because of that. Okay, this is my strat now. There we go. I can collect these yellows later. Where are you going? Sure, Ben. There we go. I don't like doing this. Uh, it's a waste of... There we go. That's gonna hurt our blue Pikmin supply though. Oh well. It's sad, but it must be done. 
Um, I don't know what to do with you guys. You guys can pick... You guys can attack these rocks. Alright, there we go. Sure. We need to go ahead and get some blue Pikmin. Let's, go, let's do this. Alright. There we go. And there's our third type of Pikmin. Here we go. Get ourselves some more Pikmin. You two get on there. And after I get these guys, I can get that five pullet. How's that um, bulwark or that bread bug doing? Oh, he's back for more. How is he not dead? What happened with him? I don't know when the world happened with that guy, but it probably wasn't good. You guys stay there. I'm going to go ahead and investigate with, with this. There we go. There we go. I should attract him. Really? That didn't attract him. Okay, then. Sure. Where is he going? What is his plan? There we go. Sure. That works too. Alright, he looks like he's actually going. That's great. Arvishir wigs down there. It looks like they're good. Alright, I should probably take on those sheer wigs actually. Get them food for my blue Pikmin. I heard the space flute, or whatever it's called. Can you hit the bug? There we go. Alright, there we go. Finally. No food for blue Pikmin, I guess. I just realized I'm not even gonna get it get back into the water without putting away my Pikmin.
Alright, there we go. Yeah, it's sad not being able to play um, Hey Pikmin without the whistle. Mostly because I don't acknowledge that game's existence. Alright, 7 out of 30. There we go. And there we go. 8 out of 30. Wow, we might actually be able to finish this challenge in just a few hours. Now that I've said that, this is going to be horrible. I mean, honestly, Pikmin 4 I still think has hope because... Honestly, just a small little detail that Nintendo put in. In the Switch's hardware, you can set your icon picture to several wonderful Nintendo mascots. Metroid, Yoshi, Mario, The Legend of Zelda, things like that. But they also included Pikmin. But once you take a closer look, they only have games that are coming to Switch or are already on Switch as icons. One of those being Pikmin, yes, but you also have things like Metroid, which you have Metroid Prime 4, and whatnot. And you're probably thinking, well, Pikmin's just a popular mascot. Then why is there no Paper Mario icon? Riddle me that. If this was truly just a popular mo mascot, there should be something. I mean, plus they're updating it like they did with... Um, Yoshi's Crafted World, they actually updated it to have Yoshi Crafted World characters, like the sh the cardboard Shy Guy. So yeah. I can still hope. Alright, what am I going to go after now? Um... What do I actually care about getting now? I kind of want to grow my um, blue Pikmin population, but... Okay, very, very good. Really? You're going to use yellows? Okay, then. Up oh, those yellows are gonna burn. Stop using yellows on them. Oh gosh, this is a mess. No, get away from me, Wally Log. Ah, it's a massacre. Alright, the the walk the wally log is dead. Yellow Pikmin, you get this. Or red Pikmin, I guess, sure. Oh my gosh, there's so many dead yellow Pikmin. That's sad. Hey, it's still a Pikmin on Switch. I mean, plus, I would honestly be really impressed to see a Pikmin 
remaster. I mean, you see, you can see what the graphical detail they put into Pikmin 3. I mean, in Pikmin 3, you have a remastered stage of the Forest Naval. And even just that is absolutely gorgeous on the Wii U. Um, yeah, uh, the Slime Assassin. No whistle. Alright, grab that. Let's see if these Pikmin will make it back. I'm just hoping I didn't lose too many yellow Pikmin. Okay, clip through the bridge. The Pikmin can't, because of course not. What just happened with all those Pikmin? I think I just saw, like, Pikmin. 17 Pikmin just die. Like, fall out of the, um, out of the existence. I'm gonna go get my blue Pikmin. I can't do anything to help those... Hopefully they make it back. I'm scared for those Pikmin. I should be scared for those Pikmin. Oh gosh. They make it back. That is the question. I don't think they did. Uh, that doesn't look good. We've won, but at what cost? I see two Pikmin. Oh, we left behind 19. And we lost 39 in battle. That's sad. Alright, in order to grind up some Pikmin, we're going back to the impact site. All right, let's do this. All right, we want as many blue and yellow Pikmin as we can get. Red Pikmin, they get everything, so yeah, we don't care about them as much. All right, yellow Pikmin. We only have 11 yellow Pikmin left. Oh my gosh. That's scary. Then of course we have 76 reds. We have just a ton of red Pikmin. All right. First order of business. Go ahead and fight the clam. Wait. We did take out all the Pikmin. Oh my gosh. We're losing a ton of Pikmin. Oh, 
how am I supposed to carry these up here? Oh, if I lose some, I lose some. Run. Alright, there we go. Oh gosh. Somehow we have to kill the clams. How in the world are we going to kill the clams? Alright, here's my plan. Get tons of blue Pikmin. Step two, sacrifice. Come on. Good job, yellow Pikmin with a bomb rock. Good job. Alright, I know we can do a bunch of damage. Okay, yeah, we can do half damage with one bomb rock. Oh wait, no, that's actually a really bad idea. I don't want to lose these red Pikmin. Uh. Alright. Looks like some of them are coming down. Uh, this is going to be annoying. And somehow we have to get enough blue Pikmin. So, how are we ever going to get enough... Hey, Kushiro, welcome to the stream. Um, right now we're in the impact site and we're hopefully going to be able to defeat this clam. Alright, time for the a blue Pikmin army. more blue Pikmin than this. Let's get some nectar. think that we would have more days, but no. We just have our standard 30. Um. 
Why am I torturing myself with this? Because this is a challenge I actually really wanted to do for a long time. Not gonna lie. Like, I knew Pikmin wasn't gonna be really requested, but I wanted to play Pikmin. So I went ahead and did the poll for Mario Galaxy. And then I want just about a, you guys could have something before I went ahead and did this. Alright, I think we have enough blue Pikmin. Somehow we actually have to defeat the um, thing that's holding the, the ship part. That's the hard part. This is going to be a massacre. So yeah, basically what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to throw all these Pikmin into the clam and hope that they live. They most likely won't, though. Sure, good enough. Hey, Legend, welcome to the stream. Alright. One of our Pikmin got stuck, but that's okay. Okay, that was their first sacrifice. This physically gives me pain. Goodbye. That actually wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought we were going to lose a lot more than that. Alright, see you spazzing. Alright, there we go. I was expecting a much greater loss from that. It was 20 that died from that. That's not that bad. Let's go ahead and try to get our, our yellow Pikmin numbers up. Watches my streams the most. Um, probably someone like Derpy Sheep, Harry Mario, you. Um, quite a few people, but yeah. All right, let's continue getting some more. Oh my gosh, we have to get it up from 11 Pikmin. We definitely need more than that. Alright. Do I plan on using the bomb rocks if I only need the blue Pikmin? Um, I have no idea what that means. 
Um, I will use bomb rocks. Because, I mean, I need to use bomb rocks, but... Honestly, I feel like a bomb rock would be a really interesting item in Super Smash Bros. Because you could go ahead and have the bomb rock. You pick it up, it doesn't explode. But once you throw it, it acts like a normal ball. And then a few seconds later, then it explodes. I feel like that would be an interesting concept. A little bit different than the bomb, which has impact. You know what I mean? Alright, let's go ahead and try to get that yellow 20 pellet. That's our goal. We got it. Alright. Let's see where the rest of our Pikmin are. Okay. Some are there. Some are over here. There, there's one over here. Alright. Let's head back to base. I have to make sure none of the Pikmin are stuck under the box. Okay. None of them are. That's actually surprising. Alright. Get ourselves some blue Pikmin. Let's go ahead and collect some of these Pikmin. Here we go. All right, sweet. Let's try to get these back. All right, ten seconds. One. There we go. There we go. Perfect. I'm kind of surprised we were able to get that chip part in the clam. Just because... That was one of the ones that I was most worried about. The only other one that I'm really worried about is the Beatty Long Legs one. Thankfully, I have a little bit of cheese for... Um, some of my other, some of the other ones. All right, which which do you guys want to see next, the Forest Naval or the Forest of Hope?
hey, we only lost 18 in battle today. But yeah, which one do you want to see next? Alright, I'm not seeing any comments, so I'm just going to go back to the Force of Hope. Alright, we need three more ship parts. Um, where are they? There's that one, that one, and... Oh, that one, okay. Let's split up into two groups. We have about 30 blue Pikmin in one. All right, there we go. Oh great, the bulb orbs respawned. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Great. Sure. Okay, these guys did spawn. I actually do have to kill these guys because... They'll actually mess with the bridge. I almost just used my whistle there. That's good that I didn't. Alright, let's put five on this one. Okay, that works too. And then put the rest on this one. That looks like it'll work. All right. All right. I think I'm gonna use um, half red, half yellow on this part. So I'm gonna get 35 of each. have to be exact. Sure, that works too. We're going to go ahead and tackle this. Yeah, this wall is going to be fun to destroy. There we go. How are the bridges coming? That one's actually doing pretty good. That one's about halfway. Eh, they're both about halfway. That's actually kind of surprising. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to go ahead and lower this wall. Then we have a bull warp to deal with, as well as another wall, and then another wall. Yeah, we have to go fight the armored cannon beetle. And that's going to be fun. I wish I had one singular Pikmin right now. Because I know there's a little piece of cheese that you can do. Oh well. I physically can't do anything right now. Like, physically cannot. Because I can't call the Pikmin off the wall, I can't call the Pikmin off the bridge, and I can't call them off the Bulborb. 
All I can do is wait. Alright. Cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get all of these wonderful Pikmin. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw one single Pikmin on to the... Alright. You can start carrying that back. We're going to put all these blue Pikmin on here. Now for the fun part. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Kill it. No, come on. Do damage. There you go. Oh, man. No, no, no. I need more Pikmin. Where are all my Pikmin? Perfect, I guess. That'll have to do. All right. Hey, welcome back, Spazzing. All right. It looks like most of this stuff is done. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the gift. I don't remember what it's called. A Pikmin have died? Oh, that's sad. I think we're okay, though. Actually, this is actually really good. We should be done in almost no time. This challenge is actually going a lot smoother than I was expecting it to. That should be enough. Yeah, that's good. I'm dumb. Why didn't I just throw blue Pikmin at it? That would have worked. Oh, well. Alright. Now we need a bunch of Pikmin. You know what, just for fun, I think we're going to go ahead and take on the Armored Cannon Beetle. Just see how hard it is to take it on. Alright, let's go up here. Alright, there we go. Sagittarius. That's what it is. Alright, we're a third of the way done with this. Alright, let's go grab ourselves some blue Pikmin. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's try to get as many Pikmin on here like this as possible. This is where it really is good to go ahead and have uh, down on the D-pad to just swarm it. All right, here we go. Let's go grab these Pikmin.
Eh, I guess while that wall's being destroyed, I can go ahead and grab the Nova Blaster. Hey, Water Creepers, welcome to the stream. Wait, never mind, I don't have enough Pikmin, I don't think. That'll be sad if I don't have enough Pikmin. Watch it be Ferdy. It's Ferdy. That's sad. Alright. Let's go ahead and do this. This isn't that hard of a boss. If you know what you're doing, that is. Alright, here we go. Good enough. Alright, let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, that works. Oh no, they're attacking the legs. This is actually really bad. They're attacking the legs. Yes, we got him. Alright, we got him. That was actually kind of risky. Thankfully, we know we can beat him. So that'll be good to know for... Don't let this be Ferdy as well. You've got to be kidding me. We literally need two Pikmin right now. Just. Mm. Give me some Pikmin, please. That'll do. Here, let's go. Let's go. Let's get the Nova Blaster. Get the radiation canopy. I, of course, had to be one away on both. Get him. There we go. We should be okay. Got ourselves another ship part. Let's go. Alright, 11 sh out of 30. Come on, radiation cap can canopy.
Come on. No! It was on the space. Guys, it was on the space. I kind of want to redo that. It's not worth it to waste a day on just that. Like, come on, we gotta do it again. We can do that. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, we're going to have to refight the boss. But thankfully, he isn't that hard. We're going to do this one thing at a time. Step one, get a ton of red Pikmin. Well, red and blue. I think we're just going to do the same thing, split it half and half. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to start off by getting the... the. Did I forget its name again? The green thing. Whatever it's called. Ferdy should be good. building that bridge. That took way too long last time. That's not enough Pikmin. here. Alright, we're just going to try that again because I'm not wasting days. Alright, let's do this one last time. Disappointed with myself. Force of habit, just whistle out of calling the onion.
All right, let's try this again. This time with less being bad. Sorry, my nunchuck had the glitch where, because I was holding it in a direction when I started up the game, it calibrated it to that direction, so it was automatically holding down right. Alright, let's do this. You know what? No. I have a better idea. We're going to start off by getting 70 red Pikmin out of there. Here. Alright, there we go. We're going to get these red Pikmin. We're going to put them on that wall that takes so long to destroy. Those furry blue Pikmin. All right, welcome back, Spazzing. We have to refight the boss because I was dumb. All right, there we go. Okay, they didn't actually go there. That's wonderful. All right, we need to go ahead and grab this again. We actually have to do the bridge. You're kidding, right? Okay, I thought they would actually be smart and go into the water because, you know, they're water Pikmin. Nope. That's clearly incorrect. Attempt number three, or five, I don't even know anymore. We're stuck on an easy part. I'm doing worse than before now. Alright. Let's try this again. We're going to do basically the same thing, except instead of putting them on the ship part, we're going to go ahead... We're going to grab 70 of these. Actually, 60. We'll grab about 10 blues. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and put them all on this wall. Go ahead, grab these blue Pikmin. 
and we're going to go ahead and try to get that other ship part. Got all these. there. Now we're going to go ahead let these blue Pikmin come back. We're going to take all of these all of these wonderful Pikmin and we can come back for those. There we go. Let's quickly go ahead throw these on here. That's pretty good. Collect those. Get all of these Pikmin. I have a question. Are we going to deal better with the um, Bulborb? Or is he going to be annoying? That is the question. There we go. actually worked really well. We should be able to go back. Okay, yeah, that's not, that's nowhere near done. All right, welcome back, Spazzing. Oh yeah, there's so many on the Nova blast Blaster. That's going to take a little bit to get back. Alright, we need to go ahead and get some Pikmin up here. So this is a new technique, sort of. Now, normally people use the whistle um, down on the D-pad. If you do that, it allows you to basically get the Pikmin to swarm around a certain point, whether that be away from you for where you want them going in a straight line, or where you can have them a piece of tech a piece of tech in the speedrunning community, you basically spin it around yourself. That allows the Pikmin to be closer to you so you can throw them faster. 
Now by spinning around, we can actually do a similar thing. So, that's good. So it allows us to throw much faster. It's not perfect, but it works. It helps, at least. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and get these other Pikmin. Here we go. And now we can go ahead, go up here. Go all the way up here. Let's put these on the wall. It literally takes three walls, no, four walls from our base to get to the, to the ship part. And that's sad. Alright, let's go ahead and see how those bridges are doing. Alright, it looks like they're almost done. Here we go. Alright, and this bridge should be almost done. Almost got it. There we go. And I'm pretty sure this is 25, so that's pretty good. Nope, it's 20. Either way, it's still pretty good. If Waluigi gets a game, I feel like he should have a spot in a Mario, a mainline Mario game first, then get his own spinoff. And I, I don't mean just like a cameo, like his costume in um, Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door or in Odyssey. I mean like a full-on like evil main role as a villain in one game. Then he deserves a his, a game of his own. To really flesh out his par character development. Oh my gosh, we one cycled him. Um, that's cool. <laughs> that's really cool. That's really cool. Alright, then we got 30 for this. Wow. Okay then. Can we dive away? Sweet, best encounter yet. Yeah, this the spin tech actually works really well. So I guess while we're waiting, we might as well grind up some Pikmin.
Um, the reason Waluigi has his name is, and Wario got their names, is because their names are based off of the Japanese prefix, um, Waru, which means bad in Japanese. And Waru... So you have wa Waru wa Wario, and then Waruigi, which sort of translates into Waluigi, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know Japanese. I just saw that in a Did You Know Gaming video. Alright. Let's go... Of that, we have 12 ship parts. We're almost halfway done. Let's go ahead and get some more... Um, Delicious, um, Pikmin. Oh, also, if you want to talk about names, fun fact about Olimar's name, um, his, ja his Japanese name which I believe is Orima, Orima, roughly trans is a what's the right word? Um, I do not remember a name for it. It starts with an A. It's like a. Thank you, English class, for teaching me so well. It's a shuffled version of Mario's name. So that's fun. All right, there we go. With that, we got ourselves a never bulb orb. And I think that's pretty good for one day in Pikmin. This makes me feel a little bit better about the BD Long Legs fight coming up. Really? Two Pikmin have died? From what? Who knows? They probably got crushed by the Bulborb dying. Alright. Also, no Pikmin die at sunset. Nice. We can sit back and watch the onions lift into the sky. We lost three Pikmin today in battle. Although we sprouted over a hundred. Wow, that's actually really good. I'll call that day a success. Alright, back to the Forest Naval we go. What should we do here? I feel like we need to go ahead and take out all of those, um, that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and take out all of the fiery blowhogs. Also, because we lost so many Pikmin due to sunset, we're probably going to have, s actually I don't know if it happens. Yeah, I don't think it does. But there might be Pikmin that actually 
um, appear as sprouts. Yeah, no, that didn't happen. Oh well. Let's get out. Let's get out about 50 Pikmin. There we go. Um, do we want more Pikmin? I'm gonna say yes. Let's just take out the full hundred. And just destroy everything down here. Now, the Puff Stool would seem to be a very difficult boss. But I have the most hilarious way to defeat it. But first, we're gonna put these red Pikmin on the Fiery Blowhog. Alright, there's another Blowhog here, I'm pretty sure. Alright, there you are. Cool. Really, more. No, not a Wally log. Kill the Wally log. Okay, we got him. Um, probably the Wally Logs. They can kill no Pikmin, a couple of Pikmin, or 17, 17 Pikmin, or about 700 Pikmin. They are a pain, and they can shake off Pikmin rather easily. Either that or the Cromad from Pikmin 3. The thing that um, goes ahead and... It's the thing that hides in a hole until you get near and then it pops out and chases down some of your Pikmin. Alright. Here we go. Eight Pikmin died? Okay, that's not that bad. That works. Alright, time to go attack the annoying puff stool. The way I defeat it is whack. This is how you avoid losing Pikmin to it. Just don't bring Pikmin. Since Olimar can't get affected, we don't have to deal with Puff Stool Pikmin. It's really slow, but it's effective. Also, you can clip inside of him, which is fun. Pikmin free, you let about 70 rock Pikmin drown. That's sad. That's one really sad thing about Pikmin. I used to be really sad about losing Pikmin in these games. 
And that, I mean, that's why I learned the strat of beating this without the Pikmin. Because I was too afraid of losing my own Pikmin. But yeah, now I'm sort of desensitized to it. And now I have the ability to defeat these things easily. I don't think he's supposed to go up here. Alright, there we go. The Omega Stabilizer. Honestly, this has been one of the easiest challenges that I've taken on. Alright, we're going to put these guys on the spring. Please tell me I have enough Pikmin. I do not. Alright, up here we go. I believe this should work. Okay, never mind. He's gonna go attack that stuff at anyways. Whatever. Alright. There we go. Go around the grass. Come on. Man, Pikmin 1 makes me w wish I was playing Pikmin 3. The AI, the AI is just wonderful. I mean, for a GameCube game ported to the Wii, it's pretty good. Pikmin has to be easily one of my favorite games, or at least favorite game franchises of all time. Should be good. All right, where to go next? I think I'm gonna go do some stuff with Blue Pikmin now. Let this get up here. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get that, um, what's it called? One of the stabilizers that's down here. Once the uh, spring gets back up here. Okay, yeah, the fin is making its way. Yep. 
Yeah, that was the water wraith that you saw spazing. I know exactly what you mean since, like, the same exact thing happened to me. I sp even in, like, the other one in the... What's it called? The Distant Spring. Not the Distant Spring in Pikmin 2, but it's... It's the water... I believe it's the fourth map. Yeah, I was scared of... No, it was the third map. What am I saying? But yeah, I was scared of a water wraith and the other room, the shower room, I'm pretty sure it was called. You basically had to drain the water out of a tub and then you'd enter into the cave and it had a lot of falling rocks and I was scared of that. Pikmin is not a child-friendly game. It's probably Copa compliant though, let's be honest. Pikmin is dark, though. Get these guys. Alright, let's put all these Pikmin back. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab blue Pikmin. Actually, I have to wait for those Pikmin to go back in. Here we go. Grab these. There we go. Um, fun fact, well, Pikmin 2 is, um, one of my favorite games, because Pikmin, um, I've actually never beaten Pikmin 2, 100%. I've started it many times, but I've never beaten it 100%. Thankfully, when I do this challenge with Pikmin 2, I will, most likely. Inium jet? Ionum ju jet? I don't know. Who knows? And there we go. Never ship part recovered. 15 out of 30, we're halfway there. We've only been playing for like half, two and a half hours, so we've actually gotten a lot done. I'm gonna go ahead and see what type of wall we need to destroy for V. Oh, it's a bomb wall, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Yeah, it's a bomb wall. Oh boy. So. I think in the next day, we're going to go ahead and try to defeat the BD long legs. That's probably the scariest thing in this challenge for me. Just because we have to throw a lot of Pikmin at it. And if a Pikmin goes down, 
it goes ahead and tries to attack the legs, it gets crushed. So, we have two op different options. I believe there is cheese by actually throwing the, um, What was I going to say? Basically, we have to either kill the Beady Long Legs really quickly, or I believe if you throw one Pikmin onto the Beady Long Legs, it won't notice it. And it, it'll just take it down on its own. Nah, he didn't do anything. Alright. 101 sprouted? Wow, that's really good. This challenge is... Wow. This has been good to me. Alright. We have four parts left. I'm going to say split it into two days. One day for the BB long legs. One day for the rest. Honestly, the BB long legs shouldn't take a whole day. I'm going to get um, 50 yellows if we have that many. That might be a risky decision. We don't have 50 yellows. That's good to know. Let's see if anything respawned. Hopefully not. Yep, looks good. Yeah, look at how much faster I can throw. Um, yeah, the spin tech really helps. Uh, this is going to be fun. Let's try to get all these. So, the bee long legs, I'm sure you can already guess why it's going to be difficult. Oh, there's more Pikmin over here. I'm sorry, young one. I hope 2020. Probably not, though. I I hope it releases after Breath of the Wild 2. I feel like that's what they're going to do. It's going to be the hype train between Breath of the Wild 2 and Odyssey 2. Alright, we need to go around this way. Really, you're going to trip? How many bombs do we need? Alright, we need two more bombs, I think. The question is, where are we going to get two more bombs?
let's go ahead and start the day over. Because we've already wasted a lot of time. You know the Pikmin voices are just human voices. Actually, they've been sped up, though. That's the way they were actually created. There's actually a really old... There's a lot of sound trivia on, on the Pikmin games. For instance, um, the... You know the sound that the... In the very beginning of Pikmin 3, the Drake... The SS Drake makes a sound where it's getting knocked out of the sky. Did you know that sound was actually the same that's used as the duck as the dog is laughing at you at in Duck Hunt? So yeah, there's a lot of cool sound trivia like that. There's a guy who made a video on a bunch of that stuff. Six. All right, I think we have enough bombs this time. What do you guys think? All right, here we go. Here we go. Now we actually have to make our way all the way up here again. There we go. Nope, we're missing one. Here we go. Okay, that Pikmin's dead. Alright, let's try this again. The boss fight hasn't even started yet, and we're losing Pikmin left and right. Okay, let's do this. I get the kill. No. There's physically nothing I can do. Oh, 
There's more than free dead, I think. All right. So this is why I didn't want to go up against this guy. So I feel like the only real solution is to get more Pikmin. And then just completely rush him. And just hope it works. So let's get some more Pikmin. That was actually a lot closer than I was expecting though, gonna be honest. Where can I get more Pikmin? That's the question. There's not a lot of resources available to me. I think that's what I should do. I'm going to go ahead and start the day off by using Blue Pikmin to go get the... Um, the filter in the water. And then I'm going to come back once all the flowers are grown, use yellow Pikmin, get a bunch of yellow Pikmin out. And then I'm going to use those yellow Pikmin, grow the population, and then attack. Um, yeah, just the uh, daddy long leg has too small of a mouth to bite anything. Let's do this. Alright, grab some blue Pikmin. Yeah, this game is a very interesting dystopia. Oh, now the, now the Wally Log gets stuck. Alright, I guess that works too. Hey, we only lost 10 Pikmin there. That Wally Log can jump. That is a very springy boy. He's watching me. I don't like that. Wally Logs, the masters of intimidation. Come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. We got him. Three dead. Well, three more dead. Antidioxin filter. Let's go. Hey, 40 Pikmin exactly. That's pretty good. There we go.
Alright, the flowers still aren't grown. There we go. Let's go ahead and do this so we don't have to pluck anymore. I'm going to go ahead and put these Pikmin on the antidioxin filter. Surprisingly, this isn't the heaviest object in the game. There's one that weighs 50 in the distant spring. Once we get there. Here we go. Now just to wait. I think I might as well just go in there with red Pikmin. That might actually be the play. First, let's go ahead and get this. Wait, no, I need to put away the blue Pikmin. There we go. And there we go, a number ship part. 16 out of 30. go. Grab these. There we go. Put these away. Then we'll go ahead and grab some yellows and reds. I'll leave seven in there just in case. Just in case something goes wrong, I'm leaving those seven in there as backups. And yeah, I know if you get Pikmin Extinction, another one will spawn the next day. But you know, then we have to go ahead and spend some time growing some. Okay, apparently I only have 99. Whatever. Okay, my remote's dead. It appears. Yes, it is. Alright, um, do I have another one up here? No, I do not. Actually, yes, I do. That's good. Got him. <sighs> All right, there we go. Don't worry, I had a spare remote up here. So, this one should last for a while. We're going to take these guys. We're going to go grab some bombs. Don't worry, I had the two up here from... Um, Jumpless Galaxy. So, don't worry, I had extra. Alright, let's do this. It's a good thing I have rechargeable batteries.
And yeah, we still have other Pikmin over here. But here we go. Why did I jump down here? Alright, I need to go over here. We don't want to use actual Pikmin on it because we just want to get rid of the bomb rocks. Hey, that actually worked out perfectly. No, don't burn yourself, Pikmin. Really? It could have been the red Pikmin that went into fire, but no. Alright, let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, that worked a lot better. There we go. The guard satellite. I was actually pretty worried about this. That actually worked surprisingly well. I just realized they're going to go through directly through the fire and then they're going to get lit up. R and day. Wow, no. Yep. Of course. I think we're good. Really? Sheer wigs now? There we go. Got him. Nope. More sheer wigs. It had to be a sheer wigs. Go ahead and go over here.
And there's the guard satellite. Pretty successful day, if I don't say myself. Or if I say so myself. I don't know. Still not a perfect day. I mean, we did lose Pikmin to the BD long legs, but not as many as I was expecting. I definitely say today was a success. Wait, where's the other seven? You've got to be kidding me. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I lost six, but I gained seven. <sighs> was it worth it, though? We've won, but at what cost? We lost yellows in total. That's sad. We still went up in numbers, but we need more yellows. We literally have a tenth of the yellows as we do reds. Oh boy, now everything's going to respawn because it's been several days. Oh boy. Alright, so we need to go ahead and we need to get the ones down here. of those, 30 of these, and 20 of the yellows. Alright, there we go. Alright. Oh boy, we got ourselves some fiery blowhogs. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm going to go ahead and instead, I'm going to bring down a ton of red Pikmin. As I was saying, I'm going to bring down a ton of red Pikmin. And we're going to go ahead and hopefully destroy everything down there. Let's do this. Alright, here we go.
Here we go. We have ourselves an army. First of all, sheer wigs. There we go. That's a lot of death. Well, that was just swell. Could have been a lot worse, though. Let's go ahead and take on this guy. Alright, there we go. That Wally Log is a monster. There we go, finally. Oh great, you completely soft locked that Pikmin from that's great. You know, I'm just gonna speed up the process. So this is going to be the first half of the day. sprout. You know, I'm going to go ahead and just head back down. Get more Pikmin on the wall. Can't hurt. One Pikmin might fall off if an enemy passes by. It might jump on it. Then again, who knows?
We still have Pikmin coming back with stuff. these guys away. I'll leave like 20 of them out. Alright. I'll take out 30 of them. a perfect amount. I believe this is correct. Now we just have to be good at the game. That's the hard part. Oh, I just realized we're about to have a lot of blue death. Um, we have five people watching right now. But yeah, what a wonderful feat. Alright, let's go. We have to avoid these. on here. Said yellows. Alright, let's see if this is good. I'm not sure exactly how many Pikmin we need here. How many we need on this. Hopefully it's like 25. I guess 20. Alright. And this is going to be bad. This is going to be the fun part. actually getting it back and this is why it's the fun part saying goodbye to all the blue Pikmin yeah this is the fun part like it's gonna make it. Alright, it made it. With only like 700 Pikmin dying. Wonderful. It's perfect. Only 14 have died? That's actually pretty good.
Hey, Unifony. Welcome to the stream. This bridge takes so long to make. Let's see if it made it. Yeah, it looks like it's making it. That means there should be 59 or maybe less. I don't know. There's some amount here. Alright, that's the blues purpose serve. Oh no. Now I actually have to separate all the Pikmin. Can we get an F in the chat for all the lost Pikmin here? Oh no. So you know how we lost a bunch of blue Pikmin? Well now we have, we're about to lose a bunch of, r of yellow Pikmin. Hooray! We definitely had yellow Pikmin to spare. Let's see if they make it past the first fire geyser. Oh yeah, finally the analog computer got back. Ah yes. Rest in peace, Pikmin. Alright, we're out of the fire. Let's get this bad boy home. I don't think it's going to make it, but... Yeah, it's probably not going to make it. Oh, well. Oh, no, I shouldn't have put so many Pikmin on it. Now it's just going to be a loss of so many Pikmin. Today was brutal. You 
You see, this is this is the stuff why Pikmin is not um, Koba compliant. All right, we have twelve yellow Pikmin left. <laughs> We literally have 12 yellow Pikmin left total. Oh, and also we finally lost more Pikmin than we gained. Most of those are probably yellow, but in blue. Oh my gosh, we lost so many Pikmin. Alright, let's go ahead and do this very quickly, and then we got the Distant Spring. Alright, let's go ahead and get 25 out. Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's go. We weren't that far. Yeah, we do need to get more yellows, you're right about that. I was thinking about just quitting the sunset, but yeah, no, we need to get some more yellows. Twelve yellows just isn't going to cut it. These guys probably respawned. No, they did not. get more yellows from oh we can use the candy pop bud transfer some of our reds into yellows Say let's transfer about fifty let's say yeah fifty reds into yellows.
All right, there we go. Hey, Dilly Dragon, welcome to the stream. here. Looks like we can only transfer a certain amount of Pikmin through candy pop buds. Huh, neat. Well, I think that's a good enough amount of yellows anyways. the forest naval. Um, we've been playing for three hours. I think I'm about done for tonight. Honestly. We lost one in battle? Huh, weird. Um, that's my plan. Do a no whistle run in all Pikmin games. I'm starting with the original. But yeah, we've done a lot tonight, but I think it's about time for me to sign off. Thankfully, I'm going to be back tomorrow. Alright. So, I'll s thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.